Imagine you worked in that Walgreens where you were high in the parking lot all the time, and that one that eat over the top throw up, and you're like, should we call somebody? He didn't look as good tonight. He never looks good. Well, this is worse. <laughs> all right. Where, where, do you, where did that happen? What town did it, what part of Ocean County did that happen? Cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know anything about that part of New Jersey. I got nothing, sorry. Uh, all of my jokes are centralized in Mom and Ocean County. That's, that's it, that's all, that's all I know. Uh, let's give it up. We've been waiting all night for this. I think he's got a special shirt on. Give it up for Carl Callen. Okay. You should play this with Brian St. John when he comes up. <laughs> Yo, people are so fucking sensitive though today, aren't they? Bro, do you guys agree? People are so freaking sensitive. Do you agree? Do you agree? You. So freaking sensitive. The other day, a guy tried to Ben Affleck me in the fucking line for a bagel. I was going to get a bagel. Avocado, egg, bagel, whatever the fuck. This fucking little Italian man with a pencil fucking thin mustache. He tried to fucking Ben Affleck me. Cause I was there with my friend Dan Caprio. We were getting lattes, right? And I, we were talking about how they changed Raul Pindi to Islamabad for the capital of Pakistan. And then I did a spell, poof, and then I was gone. We were, we were talking about fucking Raul Pindi becoming Islamabad, and this little Italian man comes up to me and goes, Hey, pal, don't you dare say Islamabad. <laughs> I said, Commandatory, I think you may have misunderstood. I would never generalize and say Islam is bad. We were talking about Raul Pindi which the Pakistanis decided to change to Islamabad. That's what I was saying. We were talking about the change of fucking, he goes, fuck you. There's a two billion of Muslims. Then do not generalize and say Islamabad. I said, commandatory. I think you misunderstood. I would never generalize and say Islam is bad. Unless I was on that Bill Maher fucking thing with Ben Affleck. I'd be like, go fuck yourself, Ben, you fucking piece of shit. The town was good. He was great in mall rats. I haven't got my balls licked in ages. Why can't I get my balls licked? At the bagel store, I went up. I was like, thank you so much. Here's five dollars. Do you know anybody who still licks balls when they get head? Gals don't lick balls as much as they used to, no? Why, what are your balls like? They're not good for licking? A cat's, cats love to lick, and their tongues are what? Rough, like my ball sack, right? So naturally speaking, you ever about to blow a load onto a girl's ass crap? And then you see a ghost? And you don't come as hard as you were going to because you got scared, because you're scared of ghosts? I'm scared of ghosts, I'm scared of dogs too. Somebody came up to me with their dog, I was like, no, 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 I don't hate dogs, I just get a little scared. Anybody else get scared of dogs? I get scared of dogs. People go, you're wearing a hat, they don't like that. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm insecure because I'm going bald. The fuck, fuck this dog, what the fuck? You ever go into somebody's house and their dog fucking controls their universe? Hey, she doesn't like men and she doesn't like men in hats. Well, I guess I'm fucked. I don't have much of a dick, but it hangs low enough to I think I'm a man. Fuck you, dog. Guy was riding my ass the other day in the car. My passenger goes, what's this guy riding your ass? I go, I don't know, but he's definitely giving it a sniff. Dog? Because dogs sniff butts. I said he's definitely giving it a sniff, dog. What do you guys want to hear, the greatest joke of all time? Yes. All right, here it is, real quick. This is the greatest joke of all time. My fucking dick hangs shorter than my balls. That's the greatest joke of all time. 
I get half hard. It's not even, it doesn't even detach. I gotta peel it off like it's a fucking, like it's fucking fruit roll up. Remember that? You ever ready to go? You go, oh, this girl likes me. She thinks I'm sexy. She says, I got some charm. I go, let me peel my dick off my balls like a fucking fruit roll up real quick. Do some witchcraft. What, you guys don't like witchcraft? I know. I quit smoking by fucking hypnosis. A guy put me under. I woke up. My asshole was raw. <laughs> My asshole was bloody as fuck, but I didn't want a cigarette ever again because I was like, you know what? If smoking cigarettes and going to seek out help and hypnosis <laughs> Leads me to wake up with my asshole bleeding down my leg. I'll fucking... I was like Kurt Schilling. I had a bloody sock. I fucking... Oh, we got some baseball fans here. All right, I'm gonna get out here. I'm gonna get out of here on this. Fur, fuck Kurt Schilling. Uh, yeah, fuck Kurt Schilling. I think he's conservative. Fuck him. I'll fist him. I, I'm not gonna uh, fist Kurt Schilling. Why the fuck would I do that? Who brought that up? Did somebody say that or was that me? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I don't wanna be Kurt, but I'm not gonna fist Kurt Schilling. All right, thank you guys for having me. Peace out. Welcome, Kurt Schilling.